A greenhouse in Leamington is getting into a new line of work. The process works just like a cow's stomach. It breaks down vegetable waste and turns it into fuel and fertilizer. Tom Taylor explains. The plant waste, there's some more stuff too. This is the stuff that will be the fuel source for the new project. Vegetable waste from both greenhouses and farm fields. It's the sort of material that is normally sent to a landfill or spread on farm fields. This is rotting vegetation, and that has a negative impact on the environment, has a negative impact on the people that are, are surrounded. So, so this is, this is a, a, a move in the right direction. We're taking the waste material and we're converting it to energy, and the end result is that there's fertilizer for us. So it's, it's a beautiful cycle. We ferment it, make biogas from the biogas. We make electricity and thermal power. Today at Seacliff Energy in Leamington, Van Kestren announced a $1.6 million contribution, a repayable federal loan for the project. There is a $400,000 Ontario government contribution as well. It's all for a, an aerobic digestion facility worth $6.5 million. They're popular in Europe. This will be the first of its kind in this part of Ontario. Uh, what we will be starting with is just organic food processing waste, some greenhouse waste, and some solid cow manure. It's a very safe recipe. Our electricity is sold to Hydro One through the OPA, the Ontario Power Authority. Another byproduct of the process is a nutrient-rich organic fertilizer, both liquid and solid, primarily for use in greenhouses. Construction of the project is just now underway. By the new year, it's expected, they'll be selling power back to Hydro One. Tom Taylor, CBC News, Leamington.